Hey guys, here are some questions on kinetic energy. You're going to get one easy, one medium, one hard, and one super hard question. And I'm going to work you through how to do them really, really, really slowly. The very, very best thing you can do for all calculations in physics is practice, 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 practice. So if you want loads more practice, I'm going to do a long, long extended version of this video and pop it over on my classroom channel. Kinetic energy is movement energy. Anytime you see movement involved, think kinetic energy. And this is how it's written, EK. Here is our equation for it. And this equation is going to be absolutely useless to you unless you know your units. So kinetic energy is measured in joules. That is, you'll notice, a capital J, not a lowercase j, because a lowercase j will not get you the marks. Half is just a number. So we don't need any units for that. Mass is measured in kilograms and velocity is measured in meters per second. And then it's squares and it's just the velocity that's squared, not the whole thing. Frequently you're going to be asked to find things that aren't kinetic energy, so you're going to need to rearrange the equations. So here I want you to find m. Because m is currently times by half and v squared, we can take these together. So we can take both of them over to the other side. So we need to divide by half v squared. So this side and this side. And what we will end up with is ek over half v squared. Slightly more complicated if we want to find V because it's times by things and it's squared. So the first thing we're going to do is to divide by half M, which will give us EK divided by half M. And then we need to square root it. That will give us EK over half M square rooted equals velocity. Now when you're doing these questions you can either rearrange the equations first or you can uh, put the numbers in. My preference is to put the numbers in but you can do it either way you want to. Now these are the rules that I want you to follow when answering any maths question. You need to get your magic physics pen. Yes, a pen that is any other colour and call it a magic physics pen. Circle with numbers, work out what the numbers mean, grab your formula sheet, write down the formula, write down the working, do your maths and add the unit. I have a whole separate video going over all of these and these instructions are on every slide of this um, video and I'll talk you through all of them as we go. So here we have a uh, fun kinetic energy where a 1.2 kilogram object is travelling at 2 metres per second. So I've circled all of my numbers. We need to work out what the numbers mean now. And this bit is my mass. And this is my velocity. So always, 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 even though we're doing like loads of the same question, write down the equation every single time, please. EK equals half mv squared ek equals half times 1.2 times 2 squared ek equals half times 1.2 times 4 so that means ek is going to equal 2.4 joules. Always, always, always write that unit afterwards. Slightly harder question now. You can expect medium questions to involve rearranging equations and a little bit of logic. So Primrose, 1.8 kilograms, picks up a frog, 4.5, uh, 45 grams, and runs at 0.3 meters per second. What is the kinetic energy? So we do need to employ a little bit of logic here because we have two masses. And we have a velocity here. So what we need to do is to add these masses together. So we can say that um, mass equals 1.8 kilograms plus. Now this is where you need to be really, really careful because um, the 45 grams is not the standard unit for um, this equation. So what we need to do is the 45, it's five, sorry, divided by 1,000 will give us 0 0.04. 
add those together. That will give us a mass of 1.845. Now that's what we need to use for this equation. These questions are getting slightly harder now. Um, so we have kinetic energy is half mass velocity squared. Kinetic energy equals half times mass, which is 1.845 times velocity squared. Kinetic energy equals half times 1.845 times 0 0.09. Kinetic energy equals 0 0.083 joules. Moving on to the hard questions now, we can expect the um, application of some logic to these, non-standard units being involved, rearranging equations. These are um, towards the top end of the high paper. These are quite challenging, um, not, not like the, the real, real top end, but quite close to the top there. So, it requires 25.23 joules to push a toy train at a speed of 5.8 metres per second. If each cart has a mass of 250 grams, how many carts make up the train? So, EK is half mass velocity squared. Our kinetic energy is 25.23 equals half mass, that's the bit that we're trying to find out, velocity um, squared, not velocity, because we know what that is, 5.8 squared, 25.23, I can now do 5.8 squared times a half, which will give me 16.8 times mass, I can now rearrange that, Um, 25.23 divided by 16.8 is going to give me 1.50 kilograms. Now the answer is obviously in kilograms. We want our answer to be in grams, so we need to times that by 1,000 to give us 1,500 grams. Divide that by the 250 for each cart, and our answer is going to be 6 carts. Now the problem with this kind of equation is that some people will just um, stop here, think that you know they've done the calculation, they have the right answer, but what they haven't done is gone back to read the question and work out you actually need you to do like a teeny tiny little bit more, that's what the examiners are looking for to get the marks. And if you are aiming for the top marks here, you need to make sure that you are not dropping easy careless marks anywhere, because that last little bit dividing 1500 by 250 was not the most complicated bit of the sum, but that's the bit that the majority of people will have forgotten to do. So super hard questions are really aimed at the top students. If you are going to be a good A-level candidate, if you want to pursue this further, if you really want the top grade, you should definitely be trying these questions. Um, so an object has a weight of 170 newtons um, and needs... 29 joules of energy to move what velocity is it moving with lovely lovely question here because you have to apply quite a lot of logic to it to actually work out what is going on so you're going to need to combine two equations now i'm kind of cheating because we know one of those equations is kinetic energy We have the um, energy, we know we need to find velocity, but we have um, weight instead of mass. So you need to find an equation where we can turn weight into mass. Fortunately, there is such an equation. That is weight equals mass times gravity. Now you should remember that gravity has a value of 10. They may tell you this in the exam, they may not tell you this in the exam. So if we have a weight of 170, we are trying to find mass and we know that gravity is 10. That is going to be 170 divided by 10 
equals mass. So we can say that mass equals 17. We can now put these numbers back into our kinetic energy equation. Um, but first we need to turn the 29 joules into kilojoules. So what we need to do is to divide that by 1000. Which is going to give us 0 0.029. So we can finally get started. 0 0.029 equals half mass, which we now know to be 17 times velocity squared. We can do 17 um, times uh, half, which will give us 0 0.029 equals. 8.5 times velocity squared. Then we do 0 0.029 divided by 8.5 is going to equal velocity squared. You're going to get a really, really long and horrible number for this. Please do not write all of this down in the exam. Please do not round it. Um, store this number in a calculator and then square root it. Um, because that is what we are going to need to get the answer. And then if we square root it, we can see that we are going to get 0 0.06 meters per second as our velocity. Really tricky question there, guys. Well done if you got it correct.